Since September 11th, increased security measures have put a strain on many areas of the economy. But few have been harder hit than the suspicious package industry. Plummeting sales have forced many suspicious package retailers out of business. And those that remain are left wondering if they have a future in the post-9-11 world. Paul Townsend runs All Things Unattended on a bustling street in downtown Albany, New York. He says he used to do brisk trade to the steady flow of pedestrians, but no longer. Used to be a guy would come in here and get a suspicious package for his kid. Maybe an unidentifiable container for his wife, too. I just assumed it would go on forever. Townsend's family has been in the suspicious package business for more than 50 years. People are afraid to come in. They'll look in the window, but they won't buy anything. They're afraid they're going to get arrested. And it's not just the mom and pop suspicious package stores that are in trouble. Last month, Mysterious Bags and Boxes Incorporated filed for bankruptcy and said in a written statement, We thank all of you out there for your continued support of our finely made dubious parcel and inscrutable containers. Their corporate headquarters were closed down and imploded earlier this week. It gave me real happiness to hand an oddly weighted, strangely shaped package to a child and, and look at the excitement on his face. It's the end of an era, and uh, it's, uh, it's a shame, really. The Pentagon has raised the national terror alert level to red as the last of the suspicious package stores hold going out of business clearance sales. An Onion News Network poll today finds that most Americans don't know what they would do in hypothetical situations.